This is my WTF face. <sighs> okay, tonight, this is a short one. I am in singles Bible study on Tuesday nights, and usually we have like a group discussion and we watch a video on relationships. And it's really good. I mean, great information. Like, I really like appreciate it, but <clears throat> tonight we had, um, and usually we're at round tables where different people sit together and then we have like group discussion and stuff. No biggie. Everyone knows I'm pretty transparent, whatever. We sit there and we're just supposed to answer one question, one, just one question. And so before we even like could say anything, this guy who had sat to my left, he was sitting on my left, creepy dude. Like I've always felt really creeped out by him. And I mean, <laughs> I try to be like a good person and I treat him like you know, cool, but I don't go out of my way to talk to him because he just like seriously is creepy to me. And I've expressed this to a couple people. Well, anyways, tonight he sits, he's been sitting there and in front of my table full of people, he says, <clears throat> you remind me of my sister. I'm like, okay. Um, don't really know what to say to that. If that's a good or bad thing. Well, he says, he says, so my sister, she's like really, really beautiful, but she's got like an eating and appetite problem just like you. This dude doesn't know me. I, he's, we've never had like a real conversation before. As far as I know, I don't think he's ever had like a meal with me other than like a group setting unless I've missed something and he's like observing me eat. But if he observed me eat, he would know. That I eat like a bird. No, I'm not size 5, but he doesn't realize, hello, I've lost over 150 pounds over the last, like, 2-3 years. And that took a lot of self-control. And if anyone knows me, like, if anything, I don't eat enough. Like, I probably have, like, 5 or 6 bites a meal. And when I go to eat out, that meal will last me, like, 2-3 meals at least. So... <laughs> The people at the table, like, their mouths kind of drop, and they didn't even know what to say. It was so uncomfortable. And he looks at me, he's all, it's okay, I have the same problem. Like, I love food. I'm always hungry. And he's like, I, I don't have much control over my eating either. In fact, I'm leaving early tonight because I'm hungry. I want to eat. And he just kept going. And he's like... Yeah, like, don't feel bad. My sister has the same issue, you know? She just, she can't control her eating and her appetite. And, but look, you know, she's a pretty girl. And I'm just like, dude, shut up already. Like, okay, this is Bible study. I'm in church. I'm trying to be, like, nice. And then he looks at me and he's like, I hope I didn't offend you. And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, you don't know me. I feel a little judged. Like, you don't know my health issues. You don't know that I have insomnia. You don't know that I have, like, a really, like, snail slow, like, um, um, thyroid, you know, that I've, like, lived with. And that I probably have, like, an excess of 50 more pounds of just hanging skin that I can't get rid of from losing so much weight, you know? So... I was just, I felt so insulted. It was so insulting. So lesson of the story is men, please, just know one thing. I know, you know, he was trying to be nice, I think. I mean, that's what the people at the table said when he left. They're like, oh, I think that he really liked you and he was flirting and it just came off really bad. I'm like, that was not bad. That was like phenomenally, like disastrously like epic fail bad. So men, my advice to you, especially, especially if you don't know somebody and you're like trying to like impress them and like open up about them or open up about, about yourself, do not, do not bring up a woman's weight, period. The end over and out.